At my daughter's wedding, I had something like a vision, so mundane that it seemed more like an idea than a vision, yet also so marvelous that it felt like a revelation. I was, for a brief period of time, euphoric, immersed in and suffused by memory. I was used to thinking of the past as traumatic. My dad's death by drowning in 1951 seemed to cut my life in two, as if standing on one bank of a flood-swollen river, I could glimpse the other shore, but no way to get across. Writing changed this metaphor and reality as if I were released from tragedy into a lighter, more comic mode, like Shakespeare's Tempest, where storm and shipwreck lead not to death, but to transformation. I think of writing as a form of movement, like walking across a field. Memory is like writing. Both are essential to making meaning. Memory generates storylines that help us to live and thrive in time. Memory is also fluid and volatile, blending old experiences with ones that are in the process of unfolding, creating new meanings. At my daughter's wedding, my past became accessible in a new way. I felt my childhood memories returning quietly and without fanfare, like friendly spirits or ghosts. The river was no longer wild and unbridgeable. My life suffered a sea change into something rich and strange. <laughs> 